Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're here, chances are you're dealing with a frustrating course error on your WordPress website. Today, I've got a solution for you. Let's dive right in. First things first, let's enable cores for Devkabir shop. I'll walk you through the process step by step. But wait, it seems cores isn't enabled yet. No worries, we'll fix this by installing our enable cores plugin. Once installed, it'll take you to the settings page automatically. However, there's one crucial step you mustn't forget. You'll need to save the settings first for the magic to happen. Once done, cores will start working seamlessly. Now, let's take a moment to understand how the origin works in this context. It's a key part of the process. If you encounter any issues with your plugins, don't hesitate to reach out to us regarding the cores error. We'll need your site URL and email address to provide you with a solution. Plus, we'll replicate your scenario in our development environment for thorough testing. After fixing the issue, we'll promptly get back to you. Remember, you can share one issue with us at a time, and we'll work on resolving it until it's completely fixed. We've got some important updates for you, including a fix for those who faced errors on versions 1.1.7 to 1.1.8. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience caused, and we're committed to being more cautious with future releases. For those using cache plugins, let's see how enabling it affects the overall performance of our cores plugin. Lastly, let's reset the settings and test again. As you can see, I've enabled cores on the plugin settings panel, but it's not effective yet. The secret? Clearing your cache after saving the settings. And there you have it. You're now equipped to tackle cores errors on your WordPress website. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more handy tips.